Now, I don't know if y'all have been keeping up with this Formula One race that's happening in November of 2023 or not, but this is looking like this might be one of the biggest events, not only in 2023, but in Vegas history. These flyers and marketing and promo videos that they have been putting all over the Internet are insane. So if you like me and you intrigued, I'm pretty sure you've been curious as to what the prices for rooms might look like. What is a ticket going to look like if you actually want to watch the race and what should I expect? So went around, did some digging and I got some information for y'all because I myself have been truly intrigued. Now, the race will be November 16th through the 18th. That's a Thursday through Saturday. And like most big events, people are going to want to come in the day before and probably leave the day after the event. And these rates are insane. Let me start with the room rates. I just looked at MGM and Caesars rates on the MGM side. The cheapest rate from the 15th to the 19th was $5.45 a night plus taxes and fees at Luxor. And it only went up from there. And not only that, MGM actually has an F1 promo where you can actually get their um, three day pass for the grandstand. That'll be right in front of the Bellagio. So you get those seats right in front of Bellagio. It's extra three thousand dollars on top if you wanted to stay at Luxor. You be looking at almost five grand for those tickets what? and room. That's crazy. On the uh, Caesar side, it was four sixty four a night just to stay at the Rio and went up from there. But I'm pretty sure ain't nobody going to really be trying to stay at the Rio. Uh, but if you just want to be out there for the event, that's a starting point. Now, if you want to actually get tickets to the race, I went on over to StubHub to see how much those tickets are starting for on that three day pass. But even for the cheapest ticket over in the MSG sphere, because it's supposed to be done by the time this race starts. It was $17.81 for a three-day pass. Now, I don't know how big F1 fans is. They might have massive fan bases that's going to pay for these prices for three days, especially with it being Las Vegas and through the strip. But I don't know. Y'all paying $1,800 for a three-day pass? Y'all can comment let me know. Uh, but that would be something that I probably just want to watch from the room. You know, I'm trying to do it the cool way and just get me a nice room at Cosmo and just watch it from the balcony or try to get me a nice high floor room with a fountain view or strip view somewhere. And those would be my seats to the race. Uh, but $1,800. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to skip out on that. But if you're an enthusiast for F1, that's your starting point for them tickets. Now, if you a big baller shot call a high roller and you an F1 enthusiast, a win got the deal for you. They got a small little million dollar package for a group of six so if it's six of you and your high roller buddies who want to go out to vegas for the f1 event the wind got their arms wide open and they got all of the big baller status stuff waiting for you four nights in a three bedroom duplex sweep a jeroboam of dom p gonna be waiting for you exclusive access to the opening ceremonies you're gonna get dinner for six at delilah y'all know delilah is that low key high key spot six tickets for awakening golf spa treatments all of the fancy stuff you know just pull out that amex and let them know you are f1 enthusiast and you want the baller package we ain't gonna get you taken care of now they put up a visual of what it'll look like from one of the f1 racers perspective being a driver taking a lap around this track and i can't lie to y'all man it looks so fire like just knowing vegas and knowing how it is trying to get around vegas it's gonna be it's kind of hard to picture an actual race taking place on the strip with no cars, no traffic, just literally blocked off for them to have a race. Something you would think of in a video game and it's like they bring in a video game to real life. But just looking at that visual, seeing the strip in the background, seeing the MSG sphere in the background because it's been taking them forever to get that done. It's kind of exciting. So uh, let me know y'all thoughts. Are y'all planning to go out for one of the F1 events? What do y'all think about these room rates? Are y'all going to consider getting tickets to maybe check out the race from a fan's point? And one of those seats for a couple of days. Or do y'all think this is just a whatever event? Who cares? It's not really that serious. Comment below and share y'all thoughts. And I'll holler at y'all in the next video.